UFC light heavyweight division title. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Santos is eight years his senior. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you all been waiting for live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, nine losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Thiago Mahetta Santo. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 15 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. They touch him up and we are underway. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double. That is how you should handle it, folks. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Body attack, and it's blocked. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Lands a big right hand there. Oh, 
and they separate. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice one, too, there from Tiago Santos. I'm not sure his boxing has ever looked. Oh. Back and forth we go! Boy, Ty Plump. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Tiago Mahetta Santos. Right hook to the head blocked. Beautiful strike. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Right on the button. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. And they separate. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again... Misses again with a right punch. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? Knee to the body, and now he's got the tie clinch. Unable to call. Oh. Big diving punch. Lands. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, close guard now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. No! Huge right hand! Back to the feet. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Side control now. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All 
All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Battle for position here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Ten seconds remain in round two. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Ooh, big shot land. Oh! All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Right punches there. Nice defense here, single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. Whoa! He's out! He got him! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. At one minute, 18 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. So just like that, we have a new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and it's always interesting to digest this result when we have a challenger come in and, and shake up the entire division. Especially when it's a guy like this, a guy that can talk the talk, but also walk the walk. He isn't a guy that's going, 